guys welcome to another episode of the true crafting crew in this video i will be doing the second side of our graduation still this is our hov plus up paper that is amazing so you guys gotta go buy some it comes in eight and a half by 11 eight and a half by 14 11 by 17 and 13 by 19. this paper is the truth i i stand behind this y'all i'm telling you i don't stand behind crummy stuff y'all already know that my name is true it's true for a reason i don't tell no stories this stuff is good stuff Anyway, I have it already pre-printed, eight and a half by 14 paper that we have right here. And also, y'all see this, these images? They are, um, they are great. This is used with our HLV Plus Sub Sublimation ink also that we sell in store. And we sell our cartridges and ink systems. Y'all got to get with us. Right. Anyway, this is not about promoting my products, but that my products give you amazing results on your sublimation things. And you will see when we press these. So on the eight and a half by 14 paper, our graduation still had to be done in three sheets. Of course, y'all know because the smaller the printer, the more sheets of paper. It is what it is. But in order to do this, what we're going to do is we are going to put our sheets of paper in order first. So this is the top, this is our middle, and this is the bottom. Let's move this out the way, yeah, the bottom. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this, this piece of paper off. I can leave this one alike, and I can cut this piece off of this one. All right, so I'm gonna cut the top off of the last two sheets, basically. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut as close as I can, but into our image just a little bit. Because when I know when I design this, I cut with the overlapping bleed. So if y'all can see, you see a little bit of the black from the from that print on this sheet of paper. If you don't, you didn't cut it close enough. I mean, you didn't cut it well enough. So you want it to be as close as possible. So on this second sheet, I'm gonna cut the top off of this one also. And of course, like I said, I'm gonna cut into it just a little bit so that you guys can see. And, this, and the reason I do this is because I don't wanna see any white on my graduation stole. So y'all can see, you see how you can see a little bit of the words at the top? That's fine, that's exactly how you want it. So next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this piece of paper over. I'm gonna use our thermal tape in our tape dispenser that we sell in store at House of Vinyl and at HouseOfVinylCrafts.com. That first flipped over piece of paper, I'm gonna put two pieces of tape on the back with the sticky side faced up. I'm gonna flip it back around and then I'm going to take this piece and overlap it here. Y'all see what I'm doing? I flipped over the paper. I put our piece of tape faced up. So the sticky part of the tape is facing the, the ink on the design. I'm gonna take my overlapping piece, that bottom piece, and I am going to match it as well as I can. But I got an imperfection, okay? So this, this happens sometimes, y'all. I see an imperfection in this piece but the overlapping piece doesn't have an imperfection so what i'm gonna do is i know i'm sorry that i'm doing this but sometimes you have to see things like this in order to adjust it's my my the imperfection is in his hair so what i'm gonna do instead i'm gonna overlap it the other way so i'm gonna cut the bottom of this piece off if I, if that confused you i am really sorry but just know that I had to change my overlap real quick because I see an imperfection in this piece because I think that I got water or something on it. I don't know, but it looked like a watermark. So after I cut that, I'm gonna flip over this piece. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna flip over this piece because now I'm gonna put the tape on the back of this one because it's got, now this one is gonna be my overlapping piece. All right, flip it down and now I'm gonna match here. So the tape goes on the image that is gonna be down, not on the one that's gonna be on the top, the overlapping piece. This is a little bit harder for me to do, y'all, because of the way that I had set it up, but it's all good because at least I won't have any imperfections in my design. I don't want that. 
All right. And I'm going to make sure that's down. Cut a piece of tape and put it on the front. Move the tape Let me see y'all can see. All right. Y'all see that? That looks really good. All right. And we're going to do the same thing. Well, we already cut this piece. So now we're going to flip this one over. I'm sorry. Flip this piece over and put our tape. And then we'll match. Perfect. And then I'll put a piece of tape here and a piece of tape here. And as y'all can see, it has the tape on the back and then we're taped here. Okay guys, now that I got it all taped up, let's go ahead to the heat press to get it all pressed. All right guys, now that we're at our heat press, we got our butcher paper and we're gonna cut this butcher paper in half because really we only need half of the sheet in order to make our graduation so. So now that we got our butcher paper cut into two pieces, this is the one piece cut in half y'all, just so y'all not confused. All right. One piece of butcher paper I'm gonna lay down at the bottom of our heat press. And then I'm gonna grab our graduation stole, which is taped all beautifully together. Perfect. On our HOV Plus Up paper. Of course, we talked about that earlier. And we're gonna lay that down right onto that butcher paper. All right, and then the second piece of butcher paper that I had, I'm gonna lay that on top. And we're gonna press this for 400 degrees at 60 seconds. And if y'all didn't already know, we had done part of this graduation stole already in a previous video with 13 by 19 paper. And this is, look how amazing this looks. So we did half the graduation stole on 13 by 19 paper, and we're doing the latter part of the graduation stole on our eight and a half by 14 paper. So I wanna show you guys that you can make these graduation stoles with your smaller printer and also our larger format printers. But we got 20 seconds left. So I'm gonna come back once it's ready to uh, come up. Woo! All right, that's hot. So let me grab my thermal gloves and slip them on really quickly. I always forget that I need thermal gloves. Okay, so I got my thermal gloves on and all I'm gonna do is sim simply flip my graduation stole. Put the paper down. And we're just gonna flip it around. And what I'm making sure here, guys, I know I'm just moving along. I'm making sure, let me push this down, that this piece right here, I have already heat pressed. So I just make sure that part of what I've already heat pressed is still on my press. So I don't wanna make sure it's down here and then I have a piece that's not heat pressed. So I'm gonna make sure that a piece of what I have already pressed is on my heat press still. Basically heat pressed twice. So now that I got it all there, I get my piece of butcher paper that I had and I place it on top. And again, we're gonna press that for 400 degrees, 60 seconds. And I'm gonna need these thermal gloves, y'all, cause that stuff be hot. It be hot, hot, real hot. All right. Woo, this hot. And I'm so glad that I have. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Are y'all ready? Are you ready? So see how beautiful this graduation stall. Oh my God, look how pretty. Oh my God, look y'all. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. All right. And our HOV plus up sublimation paper and ink. It is so beautiful. See y'all later. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, True Crafters. Bye, guys.